Hey dolls, it's Brie Shantice here, and I'm here today to bring you guys another wig review, and I'm really excited for this wig today. This wig was sent to me by wigtypes.com, and I'm so excited to show you guys this unit. And I'm in my braids today because I haven't tried on the wig at all. It's still in the box, so I'm just going to show you guys how I style it and everything and take you guys along with me with putting this wig on for the first time. So I'm so excited about that. And this wig is by Bobby Boss and the wig is called Mora. And this is what the package looks like. And I wanted to get the wig in this blonde color but on wigtypes.com they didn't have that color so instead I opted to get the F the FS1B so it should have some like brown streaks or something in it so I'm excited to see how this unit looks and um this is a human hair blend wig and this is also um Swiss lace lace frontal so you're gonna have to cut off some lace front and I'll show you guys how I do that and this is a hand tied part, um, which is five inches deep, as you guys can see there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this unit out the box and get started with um, putting it on. So of course, just like every other wig, um, it comes with the little wig cap on it. And this is how it looks out of the packaging. It has a little sponge up here. So I'm going to take all of this off. This is a really pretty color. I really like the color. Oh, wow. That sponge is sticky. I don't know what that's for, but okay. So this is a middle part unit, which I love middle parts. Um, so I'm going to take off the stock card. And this is what the unit looks like. It has that lace there. And then it looks like it's two combs. In the front for security and then one in the back and then also some adjustable straps as well um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off this lace and usually when I cut off the lace um, I try to stay pretty close to the hairline just because I I don't like to leave a whole lot on but some people do um, so I just start at the end and this is kind of hard for me to do holding it up <laughs> but I just start at the very end and I just try to precisely cut it and I try not to cut off any of the hair because that will cause the unit to shed so I try to leave a little bit of space so that I don't cut off any of the hair because I don't want um, this unit to shed So I just go along the hairline, try not to cut off any of the baby hairs either because um, it does look like there are some little baby hairs on this unit. Okay, so this is how I cut it. And as you can see, I try to stay very close to the edge or the hairline because I don't like to leave a whole lot on um but if you want to glue it down or something like that then you can leave um a little bit on so that you'll have something to glue down but I'm just going to use the combs for mine I'm not going to glue mine down um so I just cut pretty close to the hairline So I'm going to go ahead and put on my wig cap and then put on the wig. 
my wig cap look a little bit raggedy, so don't judge me. I already prepared my baby hairs because I knew this was a middle part wig, so I prepared them. But I might have to adjust them a little bit once I put on the wig. So here we go. Oh! So, my initial thoughts of this unit are, this unit is pretty bomb. This is really pretty. Um, so, I'm just going around fixing my edges. So this is how the part looks. And I think the part looks pretty good. I don't think that I need to pluck it or anything. So I'm just going to leave it alone. But this hair is really soft. And I love these wavy like waves in this hair. This is really pretty. This is a really pretty unit. Um, I'm really feeling it. And I'm just laying down the hair at the top. Because I feel like it was some sticking up. But yes, I'm really feeling this hair. So I'm going to go in now and put some um, concealer on my part. Let me get it. Actually, not concealer. Actually, um, I meant to say contour powder. Um, let's see. I'm just using this brush to put it on. It's just like a small little, it's just like a small little blending brush. And I'm using the color I always use, um, this color right here. And this is the BH Cosmetic Contour Palette, which I need another one because I use my favorite one, all of it. And that was like my favorite color. <laughs> So I need to get another one, but um, I'm using this color right here because it kind of is close to my scalp color. And I think that using the powder is better than using the liquid um, because... I just feel like it is just better and you don't have to worry about having any wet liquid on your part. So that's why I started using the contour powder. Because I was using the liquid, but I was like, yeah, I should probably not use the liquid anymore. Especially because I wasn't setting it. I was just putting that liquid um, concealer on and... I wasn't setting it or anything, but it's nothing wrong with it. I just prefer using this just because I like it better. Um, but this unit is so pretty. It doesn't need a whole lot done to it. I'm going to slide back a little bit so you guys can see the full wig. And 
And this wig is probably like 22 inches long. This is how far it comes down on me and I'm 5'2". So my initial thoughts of this hair are, wow, um, the curl pattern is really pretty. I love this like loose wave curl pattern. This is a really, really beautiful unit and the color on it I think is very pretty. The highlights in it are kind of like brown. Um, try to get close. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's kind of like a brown highlight in this hair. You can kind of see it right here. Um, but it's so subtle that, you know, you can barely see it. It's not overpowering or anything. So I really love that. I really love the curl pattern. This honestly is like, to me, like the perfect hairstyle. Like this hairstyle is so pretty, like a hairstyle that I feel like I could wear every day. I love the just loose waves. I just think this is just such a pretty wig. I really do. To be honest, I don't think that I've reviewed a whole lot of wigs with this curl pattern. And I'm really feeling this curl pattern a lot. I'm really loving it. Um, and the fact that it's human hair blend, of course you can put heat in it if the curls start to go out or anything like that. So I love the fact that it's human hair blend. That means that it may last a little bit longer. Um, if you guys want me to do an update or anything on this unit, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll let you know how it held up. But just getting it out of the package, I'm really liking it. It feels like good quality hair. Um, and it definitely doesn't seem like it's going to tangle up or really give me any issues or any problems. But I'm just really feeling this hair a lot. I'm really, like, I'm kind of in love with this little hairstyle. Like, I really like it. I really do. It's so pretty. Um, let me show you guys how it looks in the back. So as you guys can tell, I am loving this wig so much. This is probably going to be my new obsession. I just love the curl pattern. I love how soft the hair is. I love how natural this hair looks. And again, this is by Bobby Boss in the style MBLF 210 in the color FS1B slash 30. And this is the card right here again. And I probably will try to get this unit the next time, um, whenever it does come back in stock online. So just check out wigtypes.com to pick up this unit. I will leave the link to this wig down in the description box so you guys can check out this unit and pick it up from wigtypes.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. And I thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.